Welcome to my lecture online. Next, we have kind of an interesting problem. Here we have a block with a certain density, density sub b, immersed in a liquid with density, density sub l. And if the density of the block is less than the density of the liquid, part of the block will be above the surface of the liquid. Now, if we increase the temperature, so let's say that the temperature now increases, that means that the density of the liquid will decrease, the density of the block will decrease as both will expand. And if you assume that the density of the liquid changes more drastically than the density of the block, the block will then sink down into the liquid a little bit more, and there'll be a small difference in the height above the surface. Now, using the equation that the fraction of the surface or the fraction of the height of the block above the surface is equal to 1 minus the density of the block divided by the density of the liquid because the fraction below the surface is the ratio of the density of the block divided by the density of the liquid. And knowing this relationship between the change in the density and change in the temperature, let's now read the question. It says, if the density of the block is 0.6 times the density of the liquid, in other words, the block will then float in the liquid with some portion above the surface, what is the initial fraction of the block above the liquid? And if the linear coefficient of expansion is equal to k, and the volume coefficient of expansion of the liquid is equal to 4k, how much will the fraction change for a small change in the temperature? Hmm. Well, the first part is easy. We can simply calculate the fraction above the surface. That means that the fraction above will be equal to 1 minus the density of the block, which is 0.6 times the density of the liquid, divided by the density of the liquid. So these cancel out. And 1 minus 0.6 means that the fraction above the liquid initially is going to be 0.4. But now, how will that fraction change? So let's go ahead and use the equation again, that the fraction above, and I'll just go F sub A for fraction above, is equal to 1 minus the density of the block divided by the density of the liquid. Now, if we're going to take the derivative of that, so the change of the fraction above with respect to the temperature, well, that's going to be equal to 1 minus, well, actually not 1 minus, because it's the derivative of 1, which is 0, minus the derivative of this fraction, which means we take the denominator times the derivative of the numerator with respect to the temperature minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator with respect to the temperature, all divided by the denominator squared. Like that. Okay, now let's simplify that one a little bit, of course, knowing that the density of the block is going to be 0.6 times the density of the liquid. Then we have the DDT here, so let's go ahead and let's make some substitutions. So we know that the change in the fraction above divided by, and I guess I should use a small f here, uh, with respect to the temperature is equal to the negative of, because if we can get rid of zero, the density of the liquid, that would be the original density of the liquid, times the change of the density of the liquid with respect to the temperature. Now that's going to be equal to this right here, because actually the density of the block. Now notice that the density of the block, hmm, let's see here. Okay, let's go ahead and, and write that down. So the density of the block, we can write that here. It's going to be... Uh, minus, let's see, this is for the liquid. I think we're getting things a little bit confused here because I only wrote this equation for the liquid. So that would be equal to minus 4k times the original density times dt. And we'll do the same thing for the block, the, d, the derivative or differential of the density of the block. This is for the liquid. This is for the block is equal to minus 3 alpha times the original density of the block, it's liquid block, times dt, and of course alpha is equal to k, so the change in the density of the block is going to be equal to minus 3 times k times original density times dt. All right, so now when I have this here, I simply divide both sides by dt, and I'm going to get minus 3k times the original density of the block. So that's minus... Uh, 
um, 3k I better put a parenthesis there minus 3k times the density of the block and then the delta t is cancel all right so now I have minus the density of the block times the change the density of the block with respect to the temperature if I divide both sides by dt then I get minus 4k times the density of the liquid minus 4k times the density of the liquid all divided by the density of the liquid squared okay all right now we're getting somewhere now we're going to replace this by what's it's equal to in terms of the density of the liquid so we have the change in the fraction above the surface with respect to the temperature is equal to I put a minus in front well let's make that the correct way equals minus we have minus the density of the liquid times 3k times the density of the block which is 0.6 times the density of the liquid minus the density of the block so minus times a minus let's make that a plus density of the block times 4k times the density of the liquid mm. I didn't I didn't convert my density of the block let me do that so I have minus times the minus is plus 0.6 times the density of the liquid times 4k times the density of the liquid close the bracket all divided by the density of the liquid squared now notice every term has a density of the liquid squared and we have that in the denominator so this cancels these two and those two so now we're left with the change in the fraction above with respect to the change in the temperature is equal to minus so let's see what we have left we have a minus 3 times 0 0.6 that would be minus 1.8 K and here we have 0 0.6 times 4 that would be plus 2.4 K and now all we have to do is combine those two get the DT across so the change in the fraction above the surface is going to be equal to this is going to be a plus 0.6 times a minus or a minus 0.6 K times the change in the temperature and so this is the fractional change in the amount of the block above the surface with respect to a change in the temperature so if the change in temperature is one degree then the change in the fraction is going to be minus 0.6 times k whatever k is and the minus would indicate of course that the change is negative that means since the liquid expands more rapidly than the block and so the density of the liquid decreases more rapidly than the density of the block the block will then of course go further and further into the liquid as the temperature increases which is indicated by this minus and so that's how we find the fractional change in the portion of the block above the surface as the temperature increases that's how it's done